If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. Since 1906, when the NCAA was founded, college athletes have been prevented from profiting off of their persona, also known as name, image, and likeness. Throughout the 117-year history, the NCAA has justified this policy by arguing that students should play sports as amateurs. To be specific, the NCAA has prevented athletes from getting paid to advertise, recommend, or promote directly the sale or use of commercial product or services of any kind. The NCAA has also stated that players with minimal exceptions cannot compete if they're represented by an agent. According to the NCAA, educational benefits have been described as and restricted to scholarships, books, room and board fees, travel, and other living expenses. What this means is that half a million student athletes under the NCAA's control are not allowed to capitalize on their athletic prowess or potential celebrity, also known as status. The NCAA has also argued in court that the amateur nature of college athletics is imperative to college sports popularity and that a lack thereof would destroy the competitiveness among schools, which we know in modern day athletics is just not the case. The U.S. Department of Education estimates that college sports generates more than $14 billion of revenue per year. With the increasingly lucrative social media presence made on all social media platforms, there are many high-profile college athletes that the NCAA and schools alike are now facing swelling legal and political scrutiny for, which allows these athletes the ability to seek alternative compensation. In 2019, California passed the Fair Pay to Play Act, becoming the first state to allow collegiate athletes to earn money for endorsements, advertising, and events such as autograph signings and public appearances. For educational purposes, we're going to take a deeper dive into the California Fair Pay to Play Act, as well as the NCAA versus Alston case. The California Fair Pay to Play Act, also known as SB 206, is a state law that was passed in California in September 2019 and went into effect January 1st, 2023. The law allows college athletes in California to earn compensation for the use of their name, image, or likeness, also known as NIL. This includes endorsement deals without the risk of losing their athletic eligibility or scholarships. The law was introduced in response to criticism of the National Collegiate Athletic Association's policies regarding compensation for college athletes. The NCAA's current rules prohibited athletes from receiving compensation beyond their scholarships, and any athlete who accepts money or other benefits can be deemed ineligible to compete in college sports. Under the California Fair Pay to Play Act, colleges and universities in California are also prohibited from punishing student athletes who receive compensation for their NIL rights. However, the law does not require colleges and universities to pay student athletes directly for their athletic performances. What is the case NCAA versus Alston about? NCAA versus Alston is a legal case that revolves around the issue of whether the National Collegiate Athletic Association's restrictions on compensation for college athletes violate antitrust laws. In 2014, former West Virginia running back Sean Alston sued the NCAA arguing that the organization's rules prohibiting college athletes from receiving compensation beyond their scholarships violated federal antitrust laws. Alston's lawsuit was consolidated with a similar case brought by former University of California, Los Angeles basketball player Ed O'Bannon. In 2019, a federal judge ruled in favor of Alston and O'Bannon, stating that the NCAA's restrictions on compensation for college athletes were anti-competitive and violated antitrust laws. The judge's ruling allowed colleges and universities to provide education-related benefits to their student-athletes, such as computers, science equipment, musical instruments, and postgraduate scholarships. However, the ruling did not allow for direct payments to college athletes for their athletic performances. The NCAA appealed the ruling to the U.S. Supreme Court, which heard arguments in March 2021, and on June 2021, 2021, the Supreme Court unanimously ruled against the NCAA, stating that its rules limiting education-related benefits that colleges can provide to student-athletes are anti-competitive and violate antitrust laws. The ruling paves the way for colleges and universities to provide additional benefits to their student-athletes. However, the ruling did not address the issue of direct payments to the college athletes, leaving that issue to be addressed in further litigation. The historical court case, also known as NCAA v. Alston, had reached a decision by the Supreme Court on June 21, 2021. After California passed the Fair Pay to Play Act, numerous other states followed suit with their own legislation. Currently, 
40 other states have introduced similar bills, 19 of which have been passed, thus enabling student athletes in those states to have the ability to earn compensation via branding, advertising, and endorsements. Tellingly, 13 of the 19 active laws successfully passed this year on June 30th, 2021, the eve of when several state student athlete compensation laws were taken into effect, those which include Alabama, Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Kentucky, Mississippi, New Mexico, Oregon, Pennsylvania, and Texas. The NCAA released its interim policy. The NCAA policy permits college athletes with the ability to profit from their name, image, and likeness. The NCAA Bylaw 12 restrictions for all incoming and current student athletes in all sports are now suspended. The policies also provide the following. 1. Individuals can engage in name, image, and likeness activities consistent with the law of the state of the school is located. Colleges and universities may be a resource for state law questions. 2. Individuals can engage professional services providers such as agents, lawyers, and consultants for name, image, and likeness activities. 3. College athletes who attend a school in a state without a name, image, and likeness law can engage in name, image, and likeness activity without violating NCAA rules. And four, state law and school conferences may impose reporting requirements. An example of this is a proposed bill in South Carolina which would allow student athletes to create a trust fund providing $5,000 per year for each college football and basketball player as long as they remain in good academic standing. The funds will be distributed post-graduation. Interim policies prohibit athletes from accepting compensation in connection with the commercialization of their persona as an inducement for the athlete to enroll at a particular institution, for athletic participation or achievement, and for services not actually performed by the athlete. These would be considered impermissible inducements and pay for play. The National Office of the NCAA will enforce Bylaw 19 when name, image, and likeness activity violates the pay for play or impermissible inducement regulations but majority of compliance responsibility will be left to the individual athlete, as authorized under individual state laws, who choose to monetize their name, image, and likeness. Some states do specify the manner in which the athlete can promote or endorse a product or service. For example, some laws do detail whether the athletes are allowed to display their school's logos or insignias while engaging in paid ads or endorsements. In other cases, some states have mandated exactly what college athletes can and cannot promote or endorse. For example, Texas athletes are not allowed to endorse alcohol, tobacco, e-cigarettes, anabolic steroids, sports betting, or sexually oriented business. However, they may endorse firearms they can legally purchase. In states without specific product and service restrictions, such issues will presumably be left to the school's compliance offices to discern the permitted parameters. Despite the passage of interim policy, without a national law governing college athlete name, image, and likeness activity, the rules will be determined state to state and school by school. Although Congress has repeatedly expressed interest in passing a new college athlete name, image, and likeness law, Bipartisanship seems unlikely in the immediate future. This channel is dedicated to all who are interested in the operational side of the sport of basketball at the collegiate level and for aspiring college coaches, high school coaches, middle school coaches, youth leagues, and AAU organizations. The goal is to have a centralized location where fans of the game can come for more knowledge and information. This channel is collaborative and shares an interest in adding new knowledge and information regarding the collegiate basketball industry over time as it continues to grow and evolve. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.